Guys, it's the hottest part of the day, but we're gonna get after it anyway. Come along, we're gonna see what we're gonna get into over here. We've got something interesting to show you. So I left them on here just a little bit long. Uh, there wasn't very good quality feed. I know you can see you see a lot of grass, but it's not not exactly high quality stuff they've been on. Uh, but anyway, it's hot today. It is hot. So first thing, one thing that I try to do when I'm moving these sheep, I'm looking for lazy leggers. Looking for all lazy leggers. Anybody that's kind of lagging behind or whatever, that'll kind of give me a give me an indication of uh, how everybody's doing. But let me show you what I did this winter. It's showing up now. Uh, I believe I'm going to. Uh, uh, I hate to drive across all this, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to pull this mineral feeder on over somewhere else here in a minute. But uh, here's what we got. I came in here this winter and I frost seeded uh, Korean Lespedeza. You can see it, it's coming up pretty good all throughout here. Uh, anywhere there was bare dirt on this clear cut over here, I also did the same thing. The funny thing was we did not get a lot of frost, but uh, I had grazed this down real hard. Um, didn't really want to, it was just kind of something I had to sacrifice. But anyway, as I grazed it down real hard in the winter, I went ahead and uh, and frost seeded that Korean Lespedes in. And uh, I'm giving that stuff a fair shot because we're struggling on more warm season, uh, more warm season feed. And, um, you know, I want to give that stuff a good, a good fair shot. I know I'll probably destroy it, you know, grazing it like this, uh, the way I'm doing. But uh, anyway, it's super hot and, you know, I had a heat advisory. It said wear loose fitting clothing. And you know, so I put on my baggiest, you know, well, I'm sorry, I ain't gonna kick you. I just put on baggy clothes. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. Ain't no kicking going on here. And, uh, you know, so uh, you get your scratchy scratch. And um, so I got reading that heat advisory, it said wear loose fitting clothes. There's a little bit of a lazy legged lamb right there. He's maybe just cause he's got a tree, tree branch stuck on his leg. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I said, if you're out in the sun, go to the shade if you're hot, and drink water. And uh, I'm glad I read that because I was out there, and I was like, man, I need to go to the shade if I feel hot. Uh, you know, that's a good thing to know. And uh, so uh, didn't bring any water with me, though, so I may be in trouble before I get back home. We'll see what happens. But here, let's go over here. I'll, let's go over here and just see what we got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buzz around. That dog, I was, felt something gross on my hand. It just slobbered something. I don't know, it don't, it don't stink. I don't know what it is. It's got something on me. I try, like, really wanting to stay clean today. Uh, plan on wearing these pants to church tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, there's that poor you I was talking about that last video. You know, the funny thing was she really, uh, according to her, uh, you know, just looking at her eyelids, I didn't do a fecal examination, uh, you know, a uh, fecal count, fecal examination. That sounds a little bit wrong, don't it? I mean, a fecal, a fecal egg count. I didn't do none of that. Uh, I was just giving them the once over, you know. But uh, we're coming up here on this clear cut. I shouldn't be running over this. It's all fresh green, less than this. beat up that's poor you know some kind of poor spot or whatever about like this where this old barn was and uh as you can see man whoo it's a uh pretty rough in here but i will say there's a lot of stuff right there crabgrass comes up natural they really like that uh there's uh there's uh ragweed you know they'll uh they'll feast on ragweed they'll make a meal out of that you know right there there's ragweed and stuff but what i really did um i got a little lazy because i was going to put a going to put a temporary wire across this i mean this is way too big of an area but uh i just don't want to do it i just don't want to do it today i really don't 
there's all my Korean Lespedes. I frost seeded all that in. It's hammering right along. Uh, but over on that other ridge, uh, Cerisa came up really thick. Cerisa Lespedes. And that's the kind that gets stemmy. And so far, I really haven't seen much anything that wants to touch it. Uh, you know, maybe, I don't know. And it's kind of funny because look, you know, the leaves are pretty tender. Uh, you know, maybe a goat would eat that. And a lot of people claim it's a, a real good natural dewormer, uh, you know, your Lespedesis. Uh, so maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll get a hold of it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is that area. Like, I fed cattle on here all last, uh, through the winter. And the thing was, I didn't have enough cattle, and winter didn't last long enough. And uh, so, I, so I didn't really get, I didn't really get what I desired. But I am pretty pumped to see all my, my Korean Lespedes I frost seeded around. You know, that's going to help. Um, I chose that because it supposedly grows on poor soil, and it obviously will, because this place is, uh, this place is poor. And, uh, you know, we're kind of walking along an old drag road, and you can kind of see where the, uh, where the uh, you know, machinery went and stuff i actually made these ruts because i got down in here and it got real muddy and i was feeding hay you can see a little rich spot right there fed hay in there and i mean it got rank over here uh you know that's one reason i like feeding those cows on stump ground because the stumps kind of hold the soil together and you can get around and have a pretty clean area um you know like this right here and this is a case for me about using bell rings with cattle because um one you know, you get in here with your tractor and you run over stumps, you know, high stumps and stuff, you could tear something all to pieces and cost yourself, uh, cost yourself a, a year's wages, you know. And uh, so, uh, you know, and, and the other thing is this ground needs, you know, it just needs uh, unrolling. I've never got, I have never got the same, uh, the same nutrient put in the ground. Like, look at this spot right here. I mean, you can just tell, look at the color. You know, look at the, look at the, what the impact's done. I mean, you got everything coming up in there, stuff we can use, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Over there, over here's an area where it didn't do anything. Well, you got briars and some kind of old junk weed. I don't know what it is. Uh, so one thing I do, since I don't have any cattle anymore, and the problem with cattle is if it's got four legs and says moo, you know, you really just, uh, somebody can afford it, but I can't. I'm not doing it. Uh, you know, we're going to wait on that deal. And uh, so uh, anyway, so I was going to put a temporary wire all the way through here. But what happened, I got noticing that my fence was basically grounded out. I mean, I had a bunch of wet vegetation on the fence and stuff and uh, just uh, couldn't get enough voltage around here. So I had to work on that like half a day yesterday. So there's one more case of where I love woven wire. Yes, I do. I love woven wire. How about you? But that's just how that goes. Uh, you know, you do what's in the budget and what's easiest at the time. That's what I did. I like it. I mean, but I will say, uh, I don't care what kind of charger you got. If you got as much vegetation on it as I did, you just got to go clean some off to get the voltage back. And, uh, you know, um, it's just uh just how it is so well i think while i walk down here why did i walk down here i don't know well i was going to show you i guess that uh when you got these sheep like cattle would just take off and just go through there and just you know they love stuff like that scratching around and brushing flies off of them and you know bulldozing around you know they're just they're just creatures of uh they're curious creatures, you know, but sheep are a little more apprehensive to go anywhere. So, you know, bush hogging some lanes through a bad spot, you got to be real careful. You know, I run a bush hog in reverse over ground like that because there's so many stumps. Uh, you know, so here's once again a spot I fed hay. You know, you got Johnson grass popping up and, you know, you can just see the color. The color and the, uh, the species of grasses and things that stuff will eat. Um, on this side, I really didn't do anything. So you can imagine come through here if you track or you want to unroll or whatever, hit this thing. That'll make a good day. Make a bad day out of a good day, I believe. 
closer to it. But yeah, I guess I hammered along with the Korean Lespedes in here too. So, uh, you know, if they can't make it in here, if those sheep don't make it in here, they ain't gonna make it because, uh, you know, that's pretty decent stuff. There's a pretty decent variety. Um, you know, it's like Walmart. You should be able to find just about anything you need. You may even get to see, uh, see some interesting people. You know what I mean? I don't know how y'all's Walmart is, but I've seen things at Walmart. I've learned more about life at Walmart. I quit going. I mean, I like Walmart, but I can't hardly go anymore. I just, it's my anxiety. I'll go in the back at the automotive end, go grab a few things. Hey, y'all let me check out back here. You know, will y'all do that for me? You know, because I can't, I can't take it up there. And I don't know how to use those self-checkouts, and I'm not going to. I think I was at like, uh, I can't remember if it was Home Depot or Lowe's here not long ago. And, uh, you know, I, I'm never around people, so I just talk to people. And, and, and that's not normal today. Like, that's changed. People don't really talk to each other anymore. But anyway, they had self-checkout. And my buddy was going through the self-checkout. And there's this chick over there, and she's watching, making sure nobody steals nothing. And I, so I just stood over there by her. I was like, I told her my, my feelings. I said, you know, I didn't tell her I loved her or nothing. I'm talking about just how I felt about the, about the self-checkout. And I said, you know, I think it's taking somebody's job right there. You don't like that. And uh, anyway, she just kind of, like, didn't even want to talk to me. Like, they didn't acknowledge that I'd said anything like I was, you know, like I was hitting on her and you know I'm like I, mean, I ain't trying to be mean but I mean it's not like well I'm not gonna go there that's mean but I mean you know I was just you know I'd, I'd talk to the I'd talk to a guy the same way you know and it's like I'm I don't want to be your boyfriend I just want you to be able to keep your job you don't like these self checkouts you know I just want you to know that I want to give you my stuff and then I won't pay you you know uh, that's just how it goes so anyway a lot of stuff's kind of been going on here and uh, I ain't been in the best mood of mood about some stuff and kind of a I think I'm having a you know like a midlife or something going on I don't know what it is all right I think I've uh, what have we got here 1247 it's about all the internet's going to give me for today I'm limited to 12, I'm limited 13 minutes. They said you can't have over 13 minutes. You're burning up the data servers. And uh, so I'm gonna skin on out. Y'all be good, live well, stay cool, wear loose fitting clothing. If you're hot, go in the shade, drink water when you can. See you.